you know, with the pool and the rooms all around. I want to try the bed as well to see if it's comfortable. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This pool is absolutely flabbergasting. Ciao everyone, today I want to show you Il Mercato Hotel in Sharm el Sheikh. It's a pretty nice hotel, uh, the English love it. The first thing you have to know that the Mercato is the name of a commercial area that it's all around here and so if there's a lot of shops around there's a McDonald's over here it used to be a Starbucks so if you want to buy some souvenirs or anything you get a lot of options here no no thank you man okay thank you thank you as you can see, the, the reception is pretty spacious and, you know, everything looks nice and clean. Here's the review on the booking. Reception is over there and what I like a lot here is uh, the roof. The roof is really lovely with these decorations on top. It's really stylish, love it. And now we're gonna go upstairs on the second floor. There is a kind of uh, Victorian touch in the in the feel of the hotel you know okay we're getting now to the top floor where you've got it's pretty amazing over here of course now unfortunately because of the virus situation the hotel is empty but here you've got this restaurant and you know this dining area so you can actually eat at night and enjoy this amazing view because from here you can see the whole Sham el Sheikh. As you can see from this roof, you can see all the Sham el Sheikh over there. And the, on the other side as well. So, you know, at night, it's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you're eating here with the stars over your head and the total view of Sham el Sheikh. And uh, here is the, uh, you know, the show area. So after dinner, there is some kind of animation, entertainment, and you can sit here, get some uh, drinks, and enjoy the show. Okay, so now we go and we head into that pool over here. But here as well, there is another pool, which looks pretty amazing. You know, it looks like a, a bath in, it reminds me of some bath in, um, in Budapest, you know? with the rooms all around. What you see there are all rooms and there, are, there is this uh, amazing pool. This hotel is not directly on the sea. It's worth noticing that. Uh, there is access to the sea. There is a bus that, uh, you know, takes you to the, to, the, to the beach. But here is all pool. Look how beautiful. This pool is absolutely flabbergasting. It's very nice. They've got, uh, it's just for adults, okay? So you can't come with kids here if you want to enjoy your beer and, you know, not be bothered by kids. This one is the right place for you. This is the pool you can, you know, play with the kids. You can also see there, there is some goal post if, you, if they want to play water polo, you know, activities. And here's the second pool. Pretty beautiful. Again, amazing view over there. The Rocky Mountains on the horizon and the other side of Charmiche. So, this roof is pretty nice. I really like the roof of this hotel. I really like that, you know, you can eat, dine, uh, you have bars, you have the massage area, pools, and you know, I like open air. I like to stay open air and that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna get inside one of the rooms because I wanna give you a feel. Notice, cameras everywhere. I've seen there is cameras everywhere, which is always good, you know, to have some security. Thank you guys, this is room 2244. Four. Really spacious, I like it, it feels big, you know, sometimes you have these kind of rooms that you feel them all over you, while this feels spacious. It's pretty nice. It's got everything you need, isn't it? Yeah. Who made all this mess? <laughs> Keda. Um, mister? I don't know. So you can make your own coffee if you wake up in the morning. You got the boiler. Exactly. You got the flat TV. You've got the sitting area. 
I want to try the bed as well to see if it's comfortable. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh my god. Yeah. It's cool. You can have you can have a bath. You know, I hate when in a hotel you can't have a bath. You just have the shower here, you have the bath, you have everything you need. It looks neat. You want a shower like this. And this is a double room. You also have single rooms and then connecting rooms if you need. But it's a pretty fair room and it's pretty spacious. Thank you very much. No problem. What I want to do now with you is check on my phone what's the prices for this hotel. The price now it's uh, $40 per night with breakfast included. So for, I mean, $40, you can have a dinner in Rome, okay? So here you get a room, you get included breakfast. $40 is definitely a fair price, you know, for the, for the hotel. It's not an extra luxurious hotel. I've seen uh, uh, it probably needs a bit of renovation, but if you're looking for an easy going and nice place where the service is very nice, this is definitely uh, one of the best options. I just came downstairs to show you the restaurant. It's probably too early now, but uh, I wanted to show you a bit of, uh, of the ambience. And what struck me right away is this beautiful area. As you know, I like open air areas at uh, this magnificent sun that is coming uh, from the roof. And it's over there, it's pretty beautiful. You've got the area there if you want to get your own drinks and coffee. How is it? The restaurant looks good. Everything is clean. Yes, it's not uh, a seven-star hotel. But again, as we've seen before, the price is absolutely competitive. And, and it's really well kept. So opposite to the restaurant, there is this uh, really really flat bergasting pool and a kids area here's the kids area and inside there's the kids club you know animation checks them ah cool this is a token dispenser so if you want to play in the games over there you can you can change notes there billiards and here this flat bergasting pool this pool is really, really magnificent. And as I told you before, yeah, it does. For some reason, it reminds me of Budapest. You know, they have a lot of uh, saunas and pools, and they kind of look like this with the, you know, with the pool and the rooms all around. This pool is very, very beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Oh, here there is a clinic. Yes, there is a doctor. As I told you before, not far from, I mean, here Mercato is a commercial area, so there are pharmacies uh, over there. There is actually Ezabi Pharmacy, which is the best pharmacy in Egypt, if you need anything. And here is the gym. And from the outside, I can already see uh, they've got uh, Techno Gym. Oh, unfortunately, it's closed. I guess because of the rust situation, you know, a lot of hotels, they close the gym, they close the saunas, but let's try to see like this together, if we can see anything. Yeah, it kind of work. And as you can see, everything is Techno Gym, which, you know, is the best brand. And yeah, I can see the machines around inside that are Techno Gym quality. So the pool, you're not gonna be disappointed by the, by the gym, you have got, uh, everything you need. I actually want to end the video here because it's the most beautiful spot of this hotel. Um, a good hotel, it, it uh, probably needs a bit of renovation, but uh, everything is clean. The staff is very polite. The pools and the floor are really, really amazing. Uh, my point of view for its price is definitely an option to take into consideration. And I've had a lot of English friends uh, who came here and you know they've all been very happy of course if you're looking uh, especially for the sea maybe other options are good for you but if you want to come here to enjoy have a week stay on the roof on the pool have some drinks 
a perfect solution. I'll see you on the next videos, guys. If you have any questions, as usually, uh, write them down in the comments and see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.